Hi everyone, just finished a new solar panel and this one here has 20 cells, so it's 10 volts. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just testing the panel out and I have it hooked up to my HHO generator. So hydrogen is being produced directly from the solar panel. And so you're converting the sun's energy to electricity and then you're putting electricity into your HHO generator or your electrolysis uh, device and that will create your hydrogen directly from the sun. You could use the hydrogen for any combustible uh, application. Now if you're going to build a solar panel for hydrogen gas production then you'd want to have a higher current panel and a lower voltage. If you're using a two volt source, you'll have a lot more current. So what you can do with a panel for gas production is to wire these rows here. Each row here is two and a half volts. So each row would then be wired in parallel. So this entire panel here would then be two and a half volts. So each row is 2.5 volts. So what you'd wanna do is connect each row then parallel with each other. So the negative here on this cell, you'd have another negative starting here on this row. And these would all be connected in parallel across the panel. So this panel would end up being two and a half volts and that's perfect for uh, electrolysis. So if you calculate up your um, rows here at 2.5 volts, you'd have then at four watts each, you'd have 32 amps. Now these aren't gonna produce four watts. That's a maximum. So it's gonna be less. Now you're better off just to use your homemade panels or your solar panels for charging batteries and then using inverters to power lights and whatever. The process to break down the two, the water into its two elements, it takes a lot of current to do this. Um, there's heat loss. Now hydrogen and oxygen gas mixed in the same container is really only good for gas on demand because there is no safe way of storing it. You're better off just charging up batteries like over there and running an inverter. So unless you're gonna have a use for this gas and one of the uses that you, the possible uses is for welding and it's a really good welding source. A lot of benefits to that. Uh, you can get a lot of very high heat. So if you wanna build a homemade solar welder, then hydrogen gas is the way to go, HHO gas.